It is a harbour heavy with the traffic of the oil industry. Aberdeen is this country's oil town, has been for 40 years and will be for decades more. According to BP at least, whose latest £4 billion investment has been endorsed by the government. The Prime Minister left behind controversies at Westminster for a day trip north and the fresh air of jobs and investment. Congratulations on this landmark investment, the scale of which I think hasn't perhaps sunk in on all of our fellow countrymen who probably like me, remembering vaguely their geography GCSE, or in my case I'm afraid O-level, uh, thought that North Sea oil was running down. It isn't. There are many, many years left of this great natural resource. Mining the North Sea is big business. Around 90% of the UK's oil and 50% of gas is supplied by British companies. But today's production is only around half of what it was a decade ago. There are still hundreds of oil and gas wells off the northeast coast of Scotland. The BP money will go into the Clearfield west of Shetland. Two steel platforms will be built to mine an estimated 640 million barrels of oil. It will provide many hundreds of jobs in the UK in engineering and drilling, oil field services jobs over the field life. This is in addition to the 600 people working directly on this project right now. BP has renewed its focus on the North Sea after its disastrous oil spill in the Gulf of Mexico in April last year. From beneath the North Sea surface, the company says it could be extracting oil to the year 2050 and beyond. But environmentalists ask, at what cost? It's far more difficult to deal with an accident there than it was in the relatively benign conditions of the Gulf of Mexico. Uh, you need thousands of people, hundreds of ships, billions of pounds to even begin to address the kind of problems that could, uh, could result from a blowout in this region. The United Kingdom is desperate not to be over-reliant on foreign fuel. But David Cameron's difficulty is in balancing the interests of the economy with the interests of the environment and the environmental lobby. North Sea oil is an uncertain ride. But for these offshore workers returning to news of investment, along with everyone else in the industry, there is the reassurance that they'll be making the return trip for many years to come. James Matthews, Sky News, Aberdeen.